what's happening here? Who are you all? Get out of my house. He was shouting at the people who entered inside of the house without his permission. They all dressed up in black suit along with their mask. I said get out of my house. Just leave, you idiots. I will call the cops. They will punish you harder. He was telling the cops, but the man with muscular body snatched mobile from your dad's hand after punching on his cheek, making it. Just shut up, you old punk. Wait a minute. You will get to know who we are. Then a man entered inside, releasing a smoke from between his lips because of which stuck in between his index and middle finger. You, John Jungkook, the great businessman. He was shocked to see Jungkook who was taking strong stroke of his. Yes, it's me, Mr. Choi. Do you think I would leave you after what you did to my company? Do you think I don't know if you are digging my back to destroy me? He took one last stroke and crushed it under his boot before sitting on the couch. What are you talking, sir? Why would I do that? I didn't do anything like that. You know, I'm working in your company since many years. How can I do it to my company whom I treated as my family? Jungkook understand he was lying. Come on, don't lie Mr. Choi. I know, you fixed a deal with Mafia King JK to destroy my business. Because he offered you huge amount of money, am I right? He quickly took out the from his pocket and pointed at Choi's point block. Choi is an employee in Jungkook's company who has more than 10 years of experience. He was working from before Jungkook being CEO. Jungkook got information about him that he was making deals with his rival companies to sell the information of his company. Sir, please don't. I'm saying the truth. I'm loyal to your company. Please believe me. Someone gave you the wrong information. He was shivering with fear while gulping the lumps of his throat and also eyes became red. Choi, do you think I'm a fool to trust you? Do you know who I am? I am the Mafia King JK with whom you fixed a deal. After knowing the truth, no words left from Choi's mouth as he was terrified seeing Jungkook. What? You, you are a Mafia King unrolled dog? He was shivering more as he knew the history of Jungkook, how cruel he was when it comes to his... Yes, Miss Choi, number one disloyal employee. He got up from the couch, still pointing his at Choi's point block. Then Drake, who is the right hand of Jungkook, put the in his mouth and lit it. Jungkook took a long drag of it before releasing a smoke while pulling the... Sir, please leave me. Please leave me, sir. My wife and daughter will be alone. They only have me. Please leave me, sir. Finally, he realized that he was going to... So he was begging Jungkook to leave him but it was already late. Sorry Choi, it's too late. First you and now you lied to me. I cannot tolerate two mistakes. Goodbye Choi. He was about to but Jungkook heard the female voice from the kitchen with that he stopped. Drake, who is screaming? Choi, you said you have a wife and daughter, right? It must be them. Drake, go and bring her. Drake went and dragged you to the living room by holding your arm tightly. You are shivering with fear by closing your eyes tightly, but then Jungkook's gaze fell on you. He scanned you from tip to toe as if he didn't see a beautiful woman like you till now, but he was quick enough to control his thoughts. Who is she? He asked Choi without moving his gaze from you. She is my daughter, sir. Please don't do anything to her. Please leave her. He was begging Jungkook, but he already made up his mind to do something with you. If I you at once, then you don't feel any pain. But if I your daughter, then you will feel the pain daily. Drake, bring her to my car, ready to suffer joy. Drake dragged you with him and threw you in the car, but you still closed your eyes, shivering as you were scared. Please tell me where you are taking me. Please leave me. I want to be with my mother. 
You are requesting Jungkook hiding your face with your shivering hands. I just got to see him because his roar voice brought a fear on him. Shh, keep quiet. I'm taking you to Drake. Let's go. He said with a deep voice passing shivers down your spine. Later they drove to Jungkook's mansion. Whole ride he was looking at you while you were looking outside through the window as you didn't want to see him. As soon as you reached his mansion, Drake held you and dragged you to the bedroom even though you were begging them to leave you. Please leave me. He didn't hear you and threw you on the bed and moved aside to give space to Jungkook as he stepped inside the room. Drake, leave. I will handle it now. He bowed to Jungkook and left the room leaving you and Jungkook alone. Hello Miss Daughter of Toy, I'm not going to leave you, so stop begging me and do what I say. And if I heard anything from your mouth, I would not think to spare you, understand? He said loudly where his voice flinched you. Sir, I want to go to my mother, please leave me. Even though you were scared again, you asked gathering the courage because your mother is paralyzed. She needs you at this point of time. You won't hear me right. He quickly grabbed your cheeks and lifted your head up but still you closed your eyes tightly. He saw your sweaty face and quickly left as he didn't feel it as right thing to scare you more. Don't ask that again. Tomorrow there is a big event. I will send food, eat and sleep well. He said and left the room leaving you broke into tears. What's happening in my life? What wrong did I do to get all these punishments? Please someone take me from here. My mother needs me. She is in a helpless situation. She needs to take medicine. You are crying. After some time Jungkook's son Mrs. Han who is a head cook in his mansion. She brought the food to you as they broke into your house at night he thought you didn't have dinner. Dear, please don't cry. I brought you the food. Take it and have it. You slowly lifted your face at calm voice as you understood she was some middle-aged lady by her voice. No, I don't want anything. I just don't want to be here. That man will... You said pushing the plate slightly which was in her hand but she was strong enough to hold it. But she saw the fear in your eyes towards Jungkook. I don't know why he brought you here but he is not a bad person to innocence. He knew you are innocent so have this food without any worries. She sat beside you, wiped tears off you and started feeding then you took a plate into your hands and were seating. Slowly, dear, she was surprised to see you eating as if you didn't eat for many days. You are eating non-stop without stopping in the middle, then you choke, but Mrs. Han was quick enough to give water to you. Later, you finished eating. Okay, dear, you sleep well. I will come in the morning. You hugged her before leaving as you felt only she was safe to you. She patted on your back and left the room. Here in the living room, Jungkook was moving back and forth restlessly as he was waiting for Mrs. Han to know whether you ate the food or not. What happened, Azuma? She, she showed her thumb finger as us with a smile and left the kitchen after Jungkook's sighed in relief. Boss, why are you worried about her? You wanted to take revenge, but why are you showing cancer now? Oh, I'm showing consent to her? Really? Then make marriage arrangements for tomorrow. I'm going to marry her. What will be a great revenge than marrying a person whom we hate and scare most? She must be hating me for doing this. So go and look after those arrangements. Drake 
Drake left from there with confusion, but Jungkook has a clear vision what he was doing. He didn't take this decision instantly. You are dressed up like a doll who has no emotions towards this marriage. All you know is you are getting married to the person you are scared of most. Till now you didn't even see the face of him because you were scared of him. As everyone knows how dangerous the mafia game. As Jungkook is also a top businessman, he arranged this marriage secretly so that no media or world should know about it. He is working as a mafia in underground because he wants to deal with the people who play with innocence. He got this mafia inheritance from his father or grandfathers. You stood in front of Jungkook lowering your head down while eyes filled with tears. Then the priest finished reading words and went to the next step. Miss Choi Wayan, are you ready to take Mr. John Jungkook as your lawfully wedded husband? You didn't want to say yes because it's a forced marriage. He forced you to marry us. He said he will be our parents. That's why you are agreeing it. Ye yes, I do. Tear dropped down from your eyes as you agreed to marry him even though you didn't like him. Mr. John Jungkook, are you ready to take Miss Choi Wayan as your lawfully wedded wife? He smiled at you and said yes. Yes, I do. Later, as priest said, you both slid drinks to each other. Groom can kiss the bride to finish the ceremony, he said. Wanda priest said that you gasped with fear as he is going to kiss you, which you hate now. Not only that, you even scared if a male touches you, but now he is going to kiss you. As Jungkook steps coming towards you, you are clutching dress tightly with fear. But when his lips pressed on your soft lips, your heart started feeling something that you opened your eyes and saw him when he stepped back from you after kissing. This was the second time your both lips kissed each other. He is... Before you clear your confusion, the priest announced you are officially married with Jungkook. Later, you and Jungkook went back to his mansion. You and Jungkook came inside the bedroom. He was removing his coat as it was uncomfortable to him. But you are looking at him with a blank face as if you knew him already. Why are you looking at me like that? Before, you didn't even have the courage to look at me, but now you are looking at me without blinking your eyes? He asked you while folding his sleeves. So, you are the Mafia King, John Jungkook. Why didn't you say this earlier to me? You asked him as if you knew him already. I gave you many hints, but you are scared to look at me. Whenever I was in front of you, you didn't even open your eyes, then how can you see me? You didn't even realize it is me when the priest said my name, so where is my fault in this? He frowned his eyebrows with a question mark face. I was scared because I thought of you as a mafia. I didn't know that you are my boss. Your voice hit different when you were on mafia mode. So, now you got it. Why did you hide that you are daughter of Choi? So you knew that he was me? That's why you resent from the job? He pinned you to the wall immediately and made you look straight into his eyes. Jungkook, leave me. Let me explain. It's not what you think. You can see his dark eyes looking deep down your soul as if they are going to pierce it. What will you say, huh? First, you rejected me even after sharing a deep kiss. Second, you resigned to the job saying that you hate me and now you, me hiding your identity. He was so angry that he was not even ready to hear you. Jungkook, it's not what you think. There is something you should know. Listen to me once. I didn't want to hear anything from you. I took you here to take my on you and your father. Now love on you completely, you why and just wait. 
he seriously warned you and left the room but you felt bad for yourself as he didn't even give a chance to explain. You worked as a secretary under Jungkook. He fell in love with you and also shared a kiss with you. But due to some reasons, you rejected him and left his company. It's been six months since this happened. But after spotting you as Choi's daughter, his anger raised for lying him. So he took you to his mansion but he doesn't knew that he cannot do anything to you. The person who could not even see tears in your eyes now said he will take. Is it possible? Since that day he started treating you like a slave but not completely. He assigned small work which don't hurt you much. One said he wanted to take but other side his love on you not allowing him to do that. He finished his path and came to the closet while wrapping towel around waist where using another towel to dry his hair. Then he picked black coat which was paired up with sharper blue. He dressed up well but was feeling trouble with his tie. Jungkook your coffee. You came directly and saw his difficulty tying his tie. So you went near him to help. Jungkook let me do it. Call me Jungkook sir. How many times I told you to call me sir? By the way, I don't need your help. Go and do your works. He was not ready to take your help but you didn't hear him and tied the tie. As you knew, he really needed your help even though he was saying he doesn't need. Now it's fine. Drink your coffee. You left the room while Jungkook looked at you in disbelief. Ah, uh, what happened to me? Why can't I be serious with her? I don't love her anymore, right? Ah, uh, this stupid heart doesn't work like a brain. As days passed, Jungkook's angry on you still the same. He was not ready to forgive you until he knew something. One day he was passing by your bedroom, then he saw you applying ointment to the bruises which were on your back as door was open he saw it and came to you immediate what happened to your back he asked as he couldn't control him after seeing you like this jungkook it's nothing you quickly hide them with a cloth and turn back touching your back to the wall but as he already saw them he took you to the mirror and asked showing them in the mirror by removing cloth If it's nothing then what is this? What do you call them? When you are hiding something from me, right? Tell me, what is it? Who made this? You can see concern towards you in his eyes. Mr. Choi gave these bruises to me. You said while tears flowing out from your eyes. What? Why would your father do that with you? He was stunned by your answer. He was confused too. He is not my father. He is my stepfather. You know my father when I was a kid. Since then my mother raised me alone with her job. But a year back Mr. Choi and my mom got married. As they love each other, I didn't object to them. You paused for a while as you were going to say the truth. Before I know he was working in your company, I have already joined there. We thought to reveal it slowly, but after six months, he proposed to me and I was ready to accept it. Because I also have feelings for you, but the same day I got to know about his deal with Mafia, Jackie, which was you. So I tried to stop Choi, but he, my mother, and burnt my back with a hot spatula. He threatened me to resent for my job and threatened me to not say to the truth. Else he will plan a with Mafia JK too. As I didn't know your real identity, I surrendered to him. This whole time tears continuously drip down your cheeks as you remember your horrible past which still scares you more. So to save you, I rejected you. I resigned for my job in your company and I lost touch with you. Jungkook eyes were also teared up after knowing what you have gone through to save his life. 
I tried to contact you many times but he snatched my, my phone and hostaged me. Seeing all this, my mother was paralyzed. She couldn't take that she loved you. Jungkook immediately hugged you, wrapping around your neck, not to hurt your back. He was crying so hard that he couldn't take that you have gone through this much for him. I'm really sorry, Wylan. I'm really sorry. I didn't know that you have gone through all this for me. It's not your mistake, Jungkook. Situations demanded us. I'm happy that I married to love of my life even though I didn't know it was you. But I'm worried about my mother. I'm scared. What if he does something to her? He broke the hug and said like this wiping your tears. Ryan, don't worry. Your mother is safe. I shifted her to a safe place when you were continuously talking about your mother. Special treatment started for her and good news is she will recover completely within a few days. That's when he saw a smile on your face first time in the days. Thank you so much Jungkook, I'm really sorry for hiding this from you. I tried on your wedding day, but you were angry with me, that's why I didn't get a chance to say. Even though it wasn't your fault, you were feeling guilty. Ryan, I should say sorry. You did for my safety, but I didn't know that truth and hurt you. I'm so sorry, Ryan. Please forgive me. Please, Ryan, forgive me. He was so guilt-ridden for hurting you. Jungkook, it was not your fault. You didn't know all these things. I didn't suffer anything from you. In fact, I'm happy. Finally, I can be with you. Now, please stop crying. You tried to understand him, but he was devastated to see bruises on your body. Even though you forgive him, he was guilty for many days. He was able to see you straight into your eyes. He wasn't able to talk with you. Slowly, you encouraged him to forget everything along with bruises he also healed. Finally, he punished Choi and your mother also recovered completely. Jungkook got married to you officially. Now you are a wife of great businessman Jungkook. But they don't know you or the wife of the mafia king. Vyan, I'm bored. Shall we play a game? What is that game, Jungkook? Mafia King forcefully did it with you. What? You read fanfiction, but no Jungkook. Before he could finish, he threw you on the bed and hopped on your top, tearing your clothes while you were screaming. Get ready for the show, baby girl. It's the end.